The annual homecoming dance will culminate our 2021 homecoming celebrations. The sophomore class sponsors the dance, and this year's theme is City of Lights. That dance runs from 9 until 11 p.m. tomorrow night, where the yet-to-be-announced homecoming royalty will again be honored. Would all senior parents and athletes please report to the ramp? Senior parents and athletes, please report to the ramp. Our home opening is also serving as our fall senior night, 2021, for most of our fall sports and activities. So at all fans, direct your attention to the northwest side of the field as we introduce our seniors and their parents. We will start with our two senior football players. Number 22, Matt Ebersall. Matt is the son of Whitney and Jason Clark. Matt is a four-year participant and two-year letter winner in football. He also participates in track and robotics. Our other senior football player is number 20, Carl Graffelman. Carl is the son of Debbie and Paul Graffelman. 
Carl is a three-year letter winner in football and also is a member of the Brownell Talbot track team. Carl is also involved in ice hockey and has played for the Omaha Junior Lancer team. We also have two boys tennis seniors this year. First up is Ian Jenkins. Ian is the son of Lee Osterman and Oliver Jenkins. Ian is the number one singles player for the BT tennis team. He has participated at the state tennis championships, winning a round last year at state. He also is involved in choir, basketball, robotics, and track. The other senior member is Andrew Vinci. Andrew is the son of Jackie and Richard Vinci. Andrew is on the number two doubles team for the Raiders. He also participates in choir, basketball, and golf. Our lone cross-country senior is Chris Schinzel. Chris is the son of Kim and Dan Schinzel. Chris is a member of the Brownell Talbot Roncalli Catholic cross-country team. He has lettered two years in cross-country. Chris also participates in basketball, track, and robotics. Turning to golf, on the girls' golf team, our senior is Cammie Katosh. Cammie is the daughter of Wendy and John Katosh. Cammie is being recognized for both golf and cheerleading. She is a four-year member of the BT cheer team and for three years has been a member of the girls' golf team. Cammie competed at the state golf championships last fall. She also participates in band, choir, robotics, and theater. Brownell Talbot has a host of cheerleading seniors, starting with Molly Clark. Molly is the daughter of Robin and Doug Clark. Molly joined the BT cheer team this year and has also competed in basketball, volleyball, and choir. Senior night for the volleyball team will be on October 5th before the home match against Cedar Bluffs. Next up, Audrey Kleinfelter. Audrey is the daughter of Whitney and Chris Kleinfelter. Audrey is a four-year participant and three-year letter winner in cheer. She also participates in theater and choir. Next up, Claire Miller-Petsnick. Claire is the daughter of Susan Miller. Claire has participated in cheerleading for three years. She is also involved in theater. And our final senior is Roya Kazin. Roya is the daughter of Aisha Berdy. She is walking tonight with cheer coach Karen Rorig. Roya started cheer this year and has also participated in swimming. So fans, let's give one more congratulations to all our senior athletes and thank you for everything you have done while at BT. Let's give them one more round of applause. Reminded all fans that restroom and concession facilities are located atop the hill in the booths and building located on the northwest corner of the field. COVID protocols this year, Brownell Talbot COVID-19 protocols require everyone to wear a mask when inside any building on campus. If you need to use the restroom in the Scott Gymnasium, then please remember to wear your mask when inside. Masks, of course, are optional when outdoors.
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, would you please rise, remove your caps, and join in with the upper school choir as they sing our national anthem. For tonight's contest, Titus Hamilton's OCA Eagles will be kicking off. Mr. Wade Lanham's Brownell Talbot Raiders will be receiving. Set to kick for the Eagles, number 77, Elijah Reed. Back deep for the Raiders, number 20, Carl Grappelman. yardage for the Raiders. Finally a wrestle down inside the Eagle 30 yard line.
Pick up up 35 yards on the play. Good for a Brownell Talbot. Quarterback Nathan Brown sheds off a would-be tackler, rumbles down near the 15-yard line. Pick up a 12 on the play. Good for another Brownell Talbot. Stop a little to no gain. Tackle led by number 20, Trenton McCoy. No gain on the play, but he's up third and four for the Raiders. for a loss. Croft was the lead tackler there for the Eagles. James Music tries the left side, can't quite pick up the Raider first down on fourth down. And with that, the Eagles will take over deep in their own territory. Intended for number 20, Trent McCoy. Intended by number 32, Jordan Hazy. Second and 10 for the Eagles.
Jeevan James met in the hole by number 20, Carl Graffelman. No gain on the play, brings up third down for OCA. Mendez tries the option over the left side, stops short of the first down. Tackle that time led by 26, Miles Hutcherson. Brings up fourth down for OCA. and it succeeds. They pick up the yardage for the first down. First and 10 now at their own 25-yard line. Seventy-seven yards on that jump by Isaac Olson. The Eagles have stopped short of the two-point conversion. There was a penalty on them anyway. The Raiders declined, but with six thirteen left in the opening quarter, OCA strikes first and leads six to nothing.
Graffelman stops just short of the 25-yard line. Jaden Friesen on the stop for the Eagles. Sides is the call against OCA. That will give the Raiders first and five. The ball now at their own 28. Push back for a loss. Zebedee Caban on the stop. Stop for no gain. Trenton McCoy that time on the stop for the Eagles. Legal procedure call against the Raiders. Stephen James field Simon Lim's punt. Brings the ball down to the Raider 30-yard line, where it was tackled by Ben Dudley. First and 10 for the Eagles there. Go 
Olsen. Tap after a short game by Dudley. Olsen once again the ball carrier. Miles Hutcherson would not let go. Short game brings up third and seven for OCA. The ball at the Raider 27 yard line. OCA. The Sports Medicine Program in Nebraska Medicine is a proud partner in providing sports medicine services to the athletes of Brownell Talbot. Game on. Thank you to the medical personnel present this evening in providing care for our athletes. Jordan's pass incomplete. 10 for Jeloni Payton. Lynn on the coverage. Brings up fourth down for OCA. Eagles are stopped short. Ben Dudley holds on for the tackle. James Music, the ball carrier, there was a fumble recovered by Eversall. Raiders keep possession. Second and seven, the ball at their own 27. Shakes a few tackles, rumbles into Eagle territory, finally pushed out of bounds.
19-yard gain on the play. Good for Brownell Talbot. intended for Grafferman, broken up on the play by 17, Jared Doherty. Brings up third and long for the Raiders. Complete. And you ever saw couldn't quite hang on. Procedure is a call against Brownout Talbots. That'll make fourth down just a little bit longer. Short of the line again for the first down. And he gets to take over first and ten. Isaac Olson reels in a wild toss. But then he ran into Matt Eversall. No gain on the play. Second and ten for the Eagles. The ball at their own 39 yard line.
Justin Green, the ball carrier for OCA. Finally wrestled down inside the Raider 30-yard line. Malfoy picks up a first down. And that is the final play of the first quarter. After one, your score, OCA 6, Donald Talbot nothing. Justin Green, once again, the ball carrier for the Eagles as they open the second quarter. Carl Grafham then chops him down to size after a one-yard game. Second and nine at the Raider 26. Isaac Olson met at the 25-yard line by Graffelman and Eversall. They push him back. Another short game brings up third and seven at the 25. Played intended for McCoy. Lim out there on coverage for the Raiders brings up fourth down for OCA. And they take their second timeout of the opening half.
Heck of an individual effort by Eversall. He sacks the quarterback, picks up the fumble, and rumbles inside Eagle territory. Find some room over the right side. Finally tackled by Elijah Reed. Not before he picks up 10 yards. Good for Brownell Talbot. Nathan Brown on the quarterback keeper. McCoy leads the tackle for the Eagles. Gain of five, brings up second and five. Fumble is recovered by one of the Raiders. You can't gain yardage and still go. Brings up a big third and four for Brian Altal, but the ball at the Eagle 18 yard line. some running room. Bust up the middle for an eight-yard gain down to the ten-yard line. Eight yards on the play. Good for Brownell Talbot. back. Initial eagle on the play was Reed and McCoy finished him off. Loss of two brings up second and goal. Stop for a loss.
Grappleman once again pushed back, once again by Reed. And the Raiders will now have fourth and goal from the Eagles 16. Touchdown, Brad Tyler. Round five, Grappleman. Campers in for the two-point conversion. Kick for the Eagles, Simon Lynn. And the squid kick is recovered by the Raiders. Set the ball first and ten, the ball at the Eagle 27 yard line. Brown once again was looking for Grappleman. This time it was broken up by number 11, Alex Mendez. The incompletion brings up second and ten. A reminder to fans to stick around for the homecoming halftime festivities. Where we crown our homecoming king and queen. Let's 
James Music, 27 yards. <laughs> Two-point conversion fails, but the Raiders have expanded their lead to 14 to 6. Solid return for the Eagles. Finally stopped by Simon Lynn. Now the takes the ball out to the Eagle 37-yard line. First and 10 OCA. Peyton, the ball carrier. Grappling in another saw. Stopping before you get going too fast. First and ten, the ball at midfield. Excuse me, second and seven, the ball at midfield. Jeevan James, the ball carrier. First met by Music, finished off by Grappleman. Gain of one, brings up third and a long five for OCA. Down by number 
number 32, Jordan Hazi. Now the boy picks up 10 yards and an OCA first down at the Raider 27 yard line. Jelani Payton once again, the ball carrier for the Eagles. Matthew Ebersall with the finishing tackle. Short loss on the play brings up second and long for OCA. Play fumble recovered by the Raiders. football and yesterday the seventh and eighth graders from both schools went up to Elmwood Murdoch and defeated the Knights 20 to 14. The boys will play this next Monday September 13th at Weeping Water. Coaches for the middle school football team are Chris Hamill and Adam Hedekin. too deep for Grafman to reel in. Second and ten. Stop short of the line again by McCoy. Hey, 
Picks up a couple and brings up fourth and a long four for the Raiders. Nathan Brown on the keeper. Pushes his way down the sideline. Into Eagle territory. Gain of 14 on the play. Good for Brownell Talbot. First and ten, the ball at the OCA 27 yard line. Brown's <laughs> pass falls incomplete, once again intended for a grappling. Tight coverage on the play. up what he can. Skedaddles out of bounds inside the 25. Brings up third and seven for the Raiders. Fumble on the play, recovered by Brown. This puts the Raiders back, and they take their final timeout of the half. In other middle school action for BT, the 7th and 8th grade volleyball team has matches scheduled for tomorrow. The blue team will host St. Wenceslas at 10.40. The game will be at Brown on top, but the white team will play St. Albert tomorrow afternoon. 
And that match will be held at Christ the King at 2. Congrats to our blue team for defeating OCA this past Tuesday, two sets to one. Coaches this season are Michael Carter and Courtney Hunter. Falls incomplete, intended for Eversaw, and the Eagles will take over on down. Pass falls incomplete. Pressure on the play by Eversol. Some nice runs by Peyton, but that'll bring us to halftime. Your halftime score, final title, 14, OCA 6.
Ladies and gentlemen, if you will please turn your attention to the north side of the bleachers, we will begin the 2021 Homecoming Royalty Coronation. Entering the field is Dr. Christy Gibbs, head of school, accompanied by our Raider crown bearers. Our pages are selected from Mrs. Krupa and Mrs. Dudley's first grade classes. Our first page is Victoria Molai, daughter of Nabil Molai and Annie Lindbergh, class of 2004. Our second page is Milo Kaler, son of Matt Kaler and Brandy Christie. Victoria and Milo, will you please bring the crowns forward? Now entering the field are the 2021 Raider homecoming candidates. Please welcome Queen candidate Molly Clark and her escort Jack Senevich. Molly is the daughter of Robin and Douglas Clark and sister to Cassandra, Mariah, and Jacob. She has attended BT for 10 years. Her extracurricular activities include volleyball, basketball, cheer, and choir. Molly's favorite high school experience has been staying up late on weekends playing games with her friends. Jack is the son of Karen and Terry Olin and Bill Senevich. He is also the older brother of Claire Senevich. He has attended BT for 12 years. In his 12 years at BT, Jack has been active in the following. Robotics, Journalism, Speech, and NHS. His favorite high school experiences have been listening to songs with his robotics teammates. Give a big hand for Molly and Jack. Next into the field are Audrey Kleinfelter and Akshay Mehta. Audrey is the daughter of Chris and Whitney Kleinfelter and younger sister of Chris and Anna. She has attended BT for 14 years. Audrey is involved in theater, cheerleading, and volunteering at Camp Rivercrest. She is currently co-cheer captain and co-historian of the Thespian Society. She is also involved in journalism and the student newspaper Verbatim. Her favorite high school experience so far was taking first place in the game day category at State Cheer last spring. Akshay is the son of Ashima and Akil Mehta, and brother to Akash and Akil. He has attended BT for 15 years. His extracurriculars include robotics, speech, academic, and student council, of which he is president. His favorite high school experience was hanging out with friends, singing and gaming, especially with Chris, Molly, and Maya. Once again, a big hand for Akshay and Audrey. Our final homecoming candidates are Claire Miller-Petznik and Chris Schinzel. Claire is the daughter of Susan Miller and sister to Paige, Sloan, and Kate. She has attended BT for four years. Claire has been involved in cheerleading and serves as dance captain this year. She has also participated in the musical each and every year. Her favorite high school memory was sophomore year when her grade celebrated Halloween together by playing board games, watching scary movies, and eating snacks. Her escort, Chris, is the son of Kim and Dan Schinzel. He is brother to Mary, Claire, Matt, and John. He has attended BT for seven years. Chris has been involved in robotics, Boy Scouts, NHS, chess club, cross country, track and field, basketball, band, and choir. His favorite high school experience so far has been winning the 800 meters at the C2 District Meet last spring. Once again, a big hand for Chris and Claire. And now the moment you waited for, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our Brown Owl Talbot homecoming court. Dr. Gibbs, head of school, will now crown our queen and king. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2021 Brown Owl Talbot Raider homecoming queen is Molly Clark. King of the 2021 Homecoming Court is Chris Schinzel.
Dr. Gibbs and our pages. And now for further halftime entertainment, please direct your attention back to the field as our Brownells have a cheerleading squad is set to perform. Take it away, cheerleaders. Another big hand for the Brownell Talbot cheerleading squad. Thank you. 
The Raiders once again try the onside kick to start the third quarter. This time, OCA successfully recovers it. Alex Mendez, to be precise. Tracked down by Eversall. Now the boy picks up 33 yards and a first down at the 14. Another solid gain for the Eagles. Takes the ball just outside the Raider five yard line. Second and one. Side, manages to pick up the first down, first and goal for the Eagles. Isaac Olsen stopped just short of the goal line. Brings up second and goal inside the one.
Graffelman with a big run back for the Raiders. And they'll start first and 10 at the Eagle 33 yard line. Touchdown, thirty-three yards. James Music. And Nathan Brown scores the two-point conversion. And the Raiders respond with 9.42 left in the third. They're back on top, 22-14. Once again, the Sports Medicine Program at Nebraska Medicine is a proud partner in providing sports medicine services to the athletes of Brownell Talbot. Game on. Thank you to the medical personnel present this evening in providing care for all our athletes. BTYSO Sports is off and running this fall. Good luck to the following teams who have contests tomorrow. K through six flag football teams, grades three through six volleyball, and early years through third grade soccer. It's gonna be hot tomorrow. Isaac Olsen picks up eight yards for OCA. Finally slowed down by Hazi and Graffelman. Fumble on the play. Recovered by the Raiders. James Music on the recovery for Brownell Talbot, and they will start first and 10, the ball at the Eagle, 23.
Nathan Brown, the quarterback keeper, slung down after a gain of five. Brings up second and five. The ball at the OCA, 18. This time, music finds no harmony over the right side. Loses one, brings up third and six. Bugs his way down near the 10 yard line. Picks up eight yards on the play. Good for a Brownell Talbot. First down. up short yardage, Reed and Kavan. We'll generously give him one yard on that play, second and nine from the ten. Once again, music picks up one yard, brings up third and a short eight for Brian L. Talbot. False start is the call against the Raiders. Brown's pass falls incomplete. There is a flag on the play.
Roughing the passer is the call against OCA. He was past the line of scrimmage. He wasn't a passer. You can't call him for that. He was running the ball at that point. He was past the line of scrimmage. That's not a that is not a passer anymore. You literally can't rough the passer if he's not a passer. Literally impossible. Following the penalty, the Raiders have first and goal at the six. Music pushed back for a loss. Croft on the tackle. Brings up second and goal at the seven. Grappleman takes the ball to the five yard line. Injury timeout. Injured Raiders, 26 miles Hutcherson. In other upper school sports action, the Brown on Top of Volleyball team will play their next match on Tuesday. Raiders will travel to Weeping Water to face the Indians. JV and Varsity will play starting at five. The JV Volleyball team will play a home triangular this Monday versus Meade and Cedar Bluffs. Start time for that is also five. The volleyball team is coached by Angie Better and Savannah Brim. Following the timeout, third and goal for the Raiders. The ball at the five. Let's go, Eagles! Let's go, defense! Come on, defense! You got this now! Bad snap. But Graffelman's able to recover, though he loses five yards, brings up fourth and goal. Nice job, Zebby! Let it be! Falls incomplete. Nice effort, but it was out of the end zone. And the Eagles' defense stiffens. And they will take over first and ten. The ball at their own ten. Raiders 
And the Eagles tied up.
Good kick is recovered by the Raiders. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 32. Side is the call against OCA. How did they just get six yards on a penalty? <laughs> play that was drawn up but the Raiders gain a couple of yards brings up second and three at the 37 yard line sacked on the play. Holding is the call against the Raiders. The Eagles will decline that. Pass falls incomplete, intended for Eversol. Fouls a call against the Raiders.
Following the penalty, the Raiders left fourth and really long at their own 15 yard line. Simon Lentz's punt is down at the 27-yard line. And that's where the Eagles will start, first and 10. The BT girls golf team consists of Kim Katosh, Stella Mungard, Iman Khan, and Laura Recker. The girls competed in the Platinum Invite yesterday. The next contest will be this Monday as they travel to Stone Creek Golf Course to play in the Duchenne Invite. The head girls golf coach is Dylan Holmes. The boys tennis team has a very busy week coming up. The team will play at Beatrice on Monday, Ralston on Tuesday, Elkhorn on Thursday, and then the South Sioux City invite on Saturday. Members of the team include Ian Jenkins, Andrew Vinci, Nathan Cober, Ray Sitar, Vita Wodros, Beckett Stevens, and Pene Solaria. The head coach is yours truly, Mark Smith, and I'm assisted by Oliver Jenkins. Wild action on that kickoff return. And all is said and done, the Raiders have first and 10 at the 15 yard line. Injury timeout. Cross country team, senior Chris Schenzel, homecoming king Chris Schenzel, and sophomore Luke Kopchinski. Participate on the BT Roncalli cross country team. The boys ran at the Wahoo Invite yesterday. Head coach is Jim McClurkin. The boys will run at Blair's meet next Thursday. 
Softball, BT students Maddie Barnes and Siri Dottopanini participate on the BT Mercy softball team. The varsity team has a record of six and five. BT middle school teacher Tina Kratz is the assistant coach. Good luck to the girls this season. Injured ego getting up is number 11, Alex Mendez. Music to all carry. Kevon and James team up for the OCA tackle. Second and five. Balls at the ten. Carl Grafman is the injured Raider. He managed to pick up the first and goal. Touchdown Raiders, James Music, from two yards out.
And music scores the two-point conversion. Tying the score for the Raiders. Squid kick is corralled by Elijah Reed. And Eagles will start. First and 10 at their own 38. OCA pushback for a loss. Ebersol on the tackle. Second and 12. The ball for 36. Keeper pushes his way back to the original line of scrimmage. And that brings us to the end of an entertaining third quarter with your score. OCA 30, Brownell Talbot 30. Fourth quarter, the third and ten at the thirty eight. Peyton gets to midfield. 
Music and Eversol stop him. And that'll bring up fourth and eight for OCA. Size the call against Brownell Talbot. And that will make it fourth and a little bit shorter. Bobble snap leads to a missed conversion for the Eagles, and the Raiders will take over. Music goes up the middle for not much yardage once again. Brings up third and nine at the 37 yard line. Offsides the call against OCA.
Music stop right near the sticks. It's timeout for measurement. come up short of the line again and the Eagles will take over first and ten at their own 34 yard line. Fumble on the play recovered by the Raiders. Seven yards. So good. Brown to Eversall. One play and the Raiders back out on top. 38-30.
Stone Raiders. And score. Come on, Nate, I want two. Dylan Payton, the ball carrier. Eversall and Dudley team up for the stop. Pick up a six, brings up second and four, the ball at the 21 yard line.
Peyton picks up the first down. Right at the 25 yard line. in the ball carrier. Picks up 24 yards, final foul by Hazi. First and 10 OCA, the ball at the Raider 31 yard line. Olsen, the ball carrier, tackle just inside the 25 by Graffelman. Third and four for the Eagles. Peyton, the ball carrier. He's tackled right near the sticks. Time for a measurement.
James Music. Picks up 12 yards. Good for a Brownell Talbot. First and 10 at the Raider 33 yard line.
Ben Dudley, the injured Raider on the play. He had to make the tackle on Olsen. Second and eight for the Eagles. in the ball carrier. Cuts back and gets out to the 29 yard line. Gain of one brings up second and nine. team up. Push the Eagles back for no game. Brings up third and nine. Big shout out for our cheerleaders. Big round of applause for them. Now their work tonight. Coaches are Karen Rorig and Laura Thompson. Also a big shout out to the pep band. It's been great to hear them tonight. Big hand to Mr. J.R. Gould and the students in the band. Peyton, the ball carrier, takes it out to the 35-yard line. Three yards short still of the first down. Fourth down for OCA. Ball start, the call against... OCA. on the play recovered by the Raiders, Simon Lim. game for the BT football team will be next Friday, September 17th. The Raiders will travel to Cedar Bluffs to play the Wildcats in the Frontier Conference Showdown. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. next weekend versus Cedar Bluffs.
And that will be the final play of tonight's ball game. A successful homecoming for the Raiders. And they beat OCA 52 to 30.